Hey guys, I'm Robert Bennett. And I'm Melissa Doss, and we're at Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Today we're going to show you how to capture the essence of the Chamberlain Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. So the first step in achieving our hair and makeup look for the Chamberlain is taking mousse and slicking back that hair because we want to give it plenty of time to dry and set while we do the makeup. Next is getting your favorite eyeshadow primer and applying that to the immediate eyelid area, under the eye, and even up a little into the eyebrow area from your lash line to your crease. Now we're gonna start using the bold colors. The first one I really liked to use is this beautiful wine color. And I'm taking that underneath that lash line and above all the way around, up even into the eyebrow area. The next shadow I'm gonna use is a deeper purple shadow and it has just a little bit of shimmer. That's gonna go in the crease and underneath around the lower lash line and even in the corner of your eye. Don't be afraid to use some bolder, brighter colors. So I used a little bit of this purple in order to kind of blend the other colors that I already had going. The last color I'll be using is my favorite black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use that all along the lash line, in the crease, and in the corners of the eyes. Now to finish off this look, just take your favorite black hairspray and spritz away. For the costume, the first thing I did was I made a vest. I went to the local fabric store and found fabric that already had a nice texture to it. For the piping on the vest, I simply used rope and hot glued it together. For the jacket, I started off with a cape that I found at a local Halloween store that had a hood. I added poinsettia leaves that I found at a craft store to emulate the carapace or the back piece of Chamberlain's costume. For the shoulder pieces, I took cardboard, hot glued them together, and stretched velvet over them. For the sleeves, I used upholstery fabric that already had an interesting texture to it, took lace and distressed it to emulate the cuffs. To save time and money, instead of making an entire undershirt, I just made the upper part of the shirt that you would see underneath the vest. For Chamberlain's ruffled collar, I took a black tutu, and I hot glued little silver embellishments all over it and the beads were a necklace that I found at a thrift store. To give the look of Chamberlain's fingers, I went to the Halloween store and I found gloves that were already pointed, and then I spray painted them to match the color of the mask. To emulate the look of Chamberlain's face, I went to the store and bought a masquerade mask. I added latex and tissue paper, and then with spray paint, I tried to emulate the colors of the original puppet. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing your Dark Crystal inspired looks on social media.